Good morning, guys. I am making Jackson some breakfast. He loves butternut cubes. We call them butternut cubes here, but um, what it is is it's just butternut squash. I take these butternut squash and I cube them into these. I just cubed some this morning, so he absolutely loved these. If you haven't tasted these, it tastes just like sweet potatoes, but a lighter version of sweet potatoes, and so it, it'll be a healthy, healthier alternative if you're on a diet or something. But so Jackson is going to have a butternut squash, some sugarless bacon, and I typically have my smoothies. Oh yeah? How many pieces of bacon do you have? One, one, two, three, four. That's right. Okay, you can't go crazy. You ready, Stitch? Stitch has to use the potty. Every time Stitch goes out, I have to hold Sebastian because he tries to run away. So Stitch is just gonna use the potty and then he'll come right back to the door when he's done. You tried to get away, didn't you, little booger? Okay guys, so we just finished with breakfast and we are about to roll some oils on Jackson's feet. I use uh, essential oils on his feet to boost his, um, to boost his immune system. And so I'm gonna go ahead and rub some oils on his feet and get started with that. You ready, buddy? Hey boogie woogie woogie. Hey boogie woogie 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 woogie. Hey boogie. Boogie. You stink, Stitch. Okay, so apparently when I let Stitch outside, he decided to roll around in the neighbor's poop. I don't know why he does that, but now he stinks, so it's time to give him a quick bath. Ready to get your oils done? Uh. <laughs> okay, good. All right, so I keep my oils in this little pack here for his feet. And like I said, these are oils to uh, boost immunity. And I'll explain them to you guys more in just a second. Okay, so here's the deal. When Jackson was uh, two years old, he, after he got the MMR vaccination, he stopped talking stopped walking he didn't know his name he didn't know who I was um, he couldn't be out in sunlight he had so many symptoms and they couldn't figure out what was going on so um, he had a few MRIs done full body bone scans um, he went to white matter specialists uh, that um, uh, detect and treat different types of leukodystrophies and so on and um, what they found out is that what they thought they found out is that he had ADEM which stands for acute disseminated encephalomyelitis um, which means that um, uh, it's, it kind of mimics MS it means that the myelin sheaths are coming off of your brain um, are coming off of your myelin and um, so they found inflammation in his brain but they could not find it in his spine and in order to have true ADEM they have to both be in his spine and in his brain so they were not able to detect it in his spine so for the past two years we have been trying to figure out um, what has been what what happened to Jackson um, but um, he has made so much progress since this happened when we switched his diet and his lifestyle we switched over to the GAPS diet that's why you guys always see me or you will soon see me uh, making alternative uh, recipes and uh, alternative dishes because uh, he's on a sugarless grainless diet um, so um, with the oils the reason I'm using the oils uh, is to boost his immunity because he had a weakened immune system when all of this began and um, so uh, the oils that I use are uh, lavender thieves thyme 
oregano, and cinnamon bark. And I just roll these on his feet and I also diffuse thieves throughout the day. So, um, which is also um, why, I'm not sure if any of you follow me on Snapchat. If you don't, my Snapchat name is Vicky Said It, but um, you guys may see him uh, at physical therapy and so on because when I tell you guys that he couldn't walk like it was like a baby deer learning to walk again it was so awful and um he's still to this day he cannot comfortably sit in car seats for too long or he can't sit in certain places for too long uh he has uh, a lot of discomfort in his back and if you guys have noticed that his speech is not uh clear uh, at one point he couldn't speak at all, but it has come so far with just um, implementing the GAPS diet, including fermented foods, and just work with and working with him daily. So he's just gotten so much better ever since this started, and um, I'm really excited about where he's where he's going to, where, how, how far he's progressed, and how bright his future is going to be. We um, have another appointment scheduled um, in Charlottesville at uh, UVA, and they're going to do another MRI of his brain, which he hadn't had done in over in about two years, over two years, and um, they they just want to make sure that this issue hasn't progressed, but unfortunately, they have been unable to uh, diagnose him with anything speci specific because, again, the ADEM um, did not come back as positive because it wasn't in his spine. And we have been to different specialists all over the world. We have been to um, Johns Hopk John Hopkins, we've been to Children's National, we've been to, um, Goodness, gosh, I'm not going to go into all the different places we've been, but we've probably seen over 30 different neurologists, um, maybe 20 different specialists, um, gastro, you name it, we've, we've seen it. Yeah, I see the bubbles. I see the bubbles. You name the specialist, we've seen the specialist. So um, that's why I do a lot of alternative stuff for Jackson, and I must say that it has really, really worked. Nothing that any of the doctors, uh, not a nothing against doctors because I, I totally believe you know if you're sick go see a doctor but uh, in Jackson's specific situation in his specific case nothing that the doctors uh, have suggested has ever worked for him the only thing that has ever worked for him um, was changing his diet it was like night and day uh, maybe two weeks into the GAPS diet, and I'll leave a link in the description box below regarding this diet, maybe about two weeks into, into the diet, it was such a drastic change. It went from him not knowing who he was, I would say, good night Jackson, and he would say, good night Jackson. Um, he, would, he, he didn't even know who I was, so it, 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 went, it was night and day. Um, he could walk, he could run, uh, he could express himself, he uh, was more in tune. Uh, a lot of times he would just be completely spaced out. He's so in tune now. Um, if you have a child that is suffering from autism or um, strep, especially, which strep in the gut is considered pandas, please look into um, Natasha Campbell McBride as well as Donna Gates. And I'll leave the links for their information below. Uh, because, again, the diet has really, really changed our life. It has been a game changer for us. <laughs> Okay guys, so today is Wednesday and typically on Wednesdays, uh, Jackson does physical therapy and because he's not comfortable in a lot of seating and different car seats, we built a physical therapy room upstairs. So we're going to do physical therapy at home as well as he's not homeschooled right now um, because he's too young. But I, I plan on homeschooling him, so we do work on spelling words and um, little problem solving and um, sounds, rhyming words, things like that. So we will be doing that, having class today. But right now he's doing some playtime in his playroom, so let's go check on him. And I may even try to clean up in there a bit, because it is a mess. Let's go look. <laughs> yeah, it is, but how are we going to get the trains under there? Because if we do the trains under there... We can, I can hit my head. Go on. Look at, I know, I know how. Huh? 
Yeah. You push that way, so soon the game gonna come right out. That's a good idea. Alright guys, so here is the physical therapy room. So we have a ball pit for him to climb through the tunnels and just have fun with the balls. And um, this is really good for him to using his hands, his arms, and his knees. And then we have um, down in this area, <laughs> we have his uh, basketball hoop and um, we have... Uh, his uh, handlebar, monkey bar, what do you call this bar? But anyway, he just hangs from this. He just hangs from this and um, they're bolted into the ceiling. His dad did it. He kind of uh, is in the field of um, this type of stuff. So it's, trust me, it's super secure. And um, we have a little rock climbing wall for him as well as a balance ball. So what he does is he stands on this balance ball and we typically put it in front of the basketball hoop and we um and then he shoots basketballs in and then yeah i can move buddy and then uh these are hurdles so he would just walk over these hurdles and there's a mat here we pull that mat down when we use this swing uh this is like a hammock swing and um he'll lay in it flat on his tummy and pick things off the floor and that's his wedge there and um, he will just walk up this wedge and usually we'll stick these little squigs on the camera I mean <laughs> on the mirror and he would pull them off and then place them somewhere else and here's another swing that we have uh, bolted into the ceiling and he stands on this swing and this is to help him with balance and leg strength and so on. And then we have a um, trampoline here. And of course, we it's in a small corner, so of course we pull that out. And so we are about to get ready to start with our physical therapy. I'm not sure if I'm going to film it, um, but I may. And um, so... We're about to get started, right buddy? Go, let me see what you got. Wow. Wow. Good job. time. Wow! Wow! Don't fall off! Don't fall off! Yeah! Okay, so we're gonna do all the T words. You ready? Mm -hmm. We're gonna do tip, 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 top, top. Yes, it's spelled top. This one spells top. And this one is tap. 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 Yeah. Tip. Tell it. I can know what that is. Yeah. Tap. Tap. What sound does this make? Ah. That's right. Tap. Go ahead. Tap. My camera died. Oh, that's a that's a pretty good looking A. A. Uh-huh. Now we did t, we did a, and now we're just looking for p. B. For t. Yes! Hey! I'm just going to shake it in this bench. You don't think it'll fit there? Uh, I don't know. Make a teeny, make a small p. Oh, I don't like it. Okay. But it's going to look amazing. My hands itch so much from washing my hands. Let me see. <gasps> perfect, perfect, perfect. 
perfect, 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 perfect. Give me five, dude. No, I can't. Okay, so we just lost electricity. The entire neighborhood lost electricity. Not quite sure why. I think it had to be an accident or something, but yeah, we are running on generator right now. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys, thank you so much, so, 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 so much for all of the support you guys have been giving me. I really, really appreciate it. Also, if there are any type of vlogs that you guys are interested in seeing, please, please leave it in the comment section below. Like, anything that you could possibly think of. Let me know what you guys want to see, what type of content. This is new territory for me in regards to vlogs. So just let me know what you guys want to see, and I will try to upload that type of content. And again, thank you guys so much. Like, I'm like super excited about how many of you so many of you that I just absolutely love to death and um, you guys have been such amazing supporters of me for a long time from my Victoria Victoria page and I'm just like overjoyed that you guys came in joined me here so thank you so much and please please like and subscribe also um, for those of you who are new to this channel uh, please check out my beauty channel if you have any questions regarding beauty tips or feminine hygiene hacks uh, I will leave a link in the description box for that channel below I love you guys I love you guys so 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 much and I'll see you guys in the next video bye